Um, and the journalism part, you know, Lucy's storyline, where she is really trying to make a serious career for herself and just gets sucked in to uh, this very sensationalist paper. But I, as I was reading it, I, you know, in the 70s, yes, tabloid journalism, but has a little bit of that culture. It is, is the expression of that culture cable news today? Um, I think there is the, the sensationalism that arose in our uh, media that started to a great degree in the era of tabloid journalism in 1977, um, I think is with us uh, in all facets of journalism. Mm -hmm. um, whether it's clickbait on social media, cable, network TV, uh, I mean, I, I think it's everywhere. And it's part of the, um, and this is, this is just an age-old um, dilemma in, in journalism, which is sales versus information. And this goes back to, you know, the war, you know, the, the Hearst. Sure. The Hearst battles of, you know, remember the main, mm -hmm. when the tr newsstand sales, when, um, when they were selling the Spanish-American War. I mean, even before, long before the tabloid wars. Uh, in 1977. So, I mean, that's always been part of the push and pull of journalism, of commercial journalism. But I do think that Murdoch and what he did, first of all, I think there is, in writing the character of Max Lyon, who is the Rupert Murdoch character, I tried to not make him just a mustache twirling villain. I tried to like get into Murdoch's head as to what, what, is his, what is his view of journalism, what is his philosophy of journalism, and one of the things that he thinks is that um, mainstream journalism in 1977 was, was talked down to readers. And there is an argument to be made that if you go back and look at how the New York Times covered the Son, the son of Sam murders, they weren't really covering it. Mm. And he was a major serial killer stalking the outer borough, you know, the outer borough individuals. Um, and maybe they should have covered it more. Right. So there is an argument to be made that there was a, a hole and for them to step into. Yeah, for the New York Times, and, I mean, for the New York Post and the New York Daily News to fill. But beyond that, I think the question is, if all you care about is clicks and newsstand sales and circulation, and you don't care at all about the truth and the facts, you end up with a $787.5 million settlement with Dominion <laughs> election yeah. system, right? So, I mean, that's... Yeah. There's nothing wrong with wanting people to read your newspaper, wanting people to watch your show, but if all you care about is that, and you don't care about the responsibility, the grave responsibility we have to be fair and to be honest, then you are um, a cancer on the democracy we have, which is, I think, what you see when you have um, when you, when, you, when you have what we have.